Good morning traders. Welcome to AI Traders Live, live market analysis using artificial intelligence to find high probability trades. And today we'll be looking at the uh, G10 Forex currency pairs. And we're going to look at it from a uh, artificial intelligence trading perspective, but we're going to train the AI first to come up with high probability trades. So we'll show how that's done. Here's the brief uh, the disclaimer. My contact details, I do tweet a lot, uh, artificial intelligence charts on Twitter and stock tweets. And if anybody wants some more information, you can email me at cloudcharttrader at gmail.com. So today, AI Traders Live, we'll be focusing on the 36 major currency pairs and how to train these using the artificial intelligence. So we're going to look at four particular trading strategies, major market reversals, classic swing trades, volatility breakouts, and quick three-day moves. Now, what we'll be doing is we'll be using genetic algorithms, for example, to come up with high probability trading strategies using artificial intelligence. Now, the tip of the iceberg description or explanation is briefly that the AI is going to do 10 to the power of 200 different combinations of FX indicators and market relationships. So we take all the technical indicators that we have, test them with all the different uh, combinations of settings, test, retest, and using a process of elimination the AI is then going to come up with a few key strategies. So what this means is, let's say I have a very successful uh, FX trading strategy that incorporates three different technical indicators. And now I'm taking, uh, using artificial intelligence with genetic algorithms, the AI is taking all the technical indicators that we have in the database, testing them against all of the other ones, using all the different possible combinations. So each setting, let's say if you you know trade with a MACD, for example, that would be one node there. And if it's a specific MACD setting, you can then go and change these MACD settings continuously and testing it against all the other indicators, change the settings, test, change, test. So the AI kind of comes up with a high probability trades by testing each indicator with a lots of settings, all possible settings, all possible combinations. So the end result is basically you, the AI comes up with a few trading strategy settings that you might not have been able to come up with due to simply the time constraint, how long this takes to get done. And the AI now has now identified a few uh, key trading strategies and that's now where the AI comes up with these major market reversals, classic swing trades, volatility breakouts and quick three day moves. Now the major market reversal, what we look for here is the AI strategy is looking for oversold and uh, you know other forces including cross market indicators to look for a strong move. Uh, that's code 100. The next code is code 104, classic swing trades, reversion of the mean type swing trades. Yeah, the AI is looking for quick moves that you can capitalize on. The volatility breakout is the next one, 105. This is the AI trained to find volatility breakouts. Yeah, the AI has discovered unusually high volatility in the direction of the breakout. These kind of trades are high volatile trades and they're also somewhat quick, uh, quick moves and you just add a trailing stop loss into the mix. The next one is the three day moves, quick moves, ideal for uh, currency trading, quick three day uh, in on day one and out on the third day, fourth day. So this is active trading, very quick explosive moves that ha often happen when volatility increases. So yeah, the quick three day move, we look for explosive moves and we also look for the volatility uh, around that. So that's how we find that uh, that uh, AI strategy. Now, we're going to scan the 36 Forex pair, but we're actually going to train the artificial intelligence because the current default setting for the AI is to train on stocks. So the AI is trained on stocks. So we are going to now retrain it, load the AI up and retrain it for uh, for Forex. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load the AI training module. So if we go to the power console, this section here, top left, we open the explorer section and then we make sure we've got the Fulgent AI training uh, tab selected. 
and then we also want to select which currency pairs so we're gonna just take the whole lot here uh, let's go up here 36 major currency pairs so we're gonna click on those make sure we don't have anything else connected yeah. Ah, there, so I've got that forex pair, so I'll just deselect the other one. Sorry, I've got a duplicate uh, sheet I created this morning. The watch list. Right, so we've got our currency pairs selected, 36 of them, cross currency pairs. Now we're going to make sure that the AI is selecting the, uh, the AI is now selecting the Yeah, we want, we selected the Fulgent AI training module there, and in the Fulgent uh, tab here, we're going to, we've got the stock one here, so we are going to retrain the stock trading AI to cater for Forex. And we're looking for signals of 65% plus accuracy. Okay, so then we're going to take about let's take uh, about a thousand records so that might take a while but we'll just do this properly and now we're going to start the exploration uh, if I can pull this across there we go so the AI is now going to go through all these currencies and on in the background the AI is now loading and it's going to start the training process Okay, so now the AI is loading in the background. The AI is now starting the training process. We've selected all the currency pairs, 36 of them, and now the AI is calculating all indicator values. So it's now going to run in the background. This will take a while, and uh, it's now going to take those four technical indicators, uh, sorry, the four trading strategies, and test them and run them through all the currency pairs. So it's now going to re configure the AI uh, f that was based on the stocks is now reconfiguring it to enable you to trade currencies using artificial intelligence. So we're now training the AI. So go out there, look at all the currency indicators, look at all the technical indicators, take these 36 pairs, take all the indicators in the database, add the figures in the settings, rechange, test, rechange the settings, optimize, optimize, optimize. So on we go. And this will take a while, so I'll be back halfway through. We'll see how the uh, the update's going, the, the training of the AI is going. So the AI has been running for a couple of minutes now. It's uh, testing the rules. And you can see that, yeah, it's got 206, 72, 74 rules found so far. More than 200 rules find. Uh, running more than 300 tests already and that's kind of the equity curve one or two percent average profit per trade so not not bad at all considering its currencies that don't really move that much unless you've got a tremendous amount of leverage the money's in the leverage uh, not so much in the currency move but nevertheless we have 300 rules now uh, AI rules that the AI is now uh, picking up and uh, we'll see how this goes it'll take a while for this to finish so I'll be back uh, for an update uh, as, as we go along. So we've had a couple of minutes uh, since the last update. We're running at about 489 rules that the AI is now found and testing. It's still only busy with a major market reversal type uh, setting for example. So it's, um, it's found quite a lot of rules and you can see the equity curve is like at one and a half percent just under you know, two percent average profit per trade and we're running at 700 800 plus uh, 785 tests already where the AI is running these uh, testing these rules uh, will be hitting 800 in, in in a minute or two and you can see that the rules are now running at 509 510 we'll we get to 510 rules yeah so uh, we'll just keep monitoring this and I'll be back and we're back. Took a good uh, 45 minutes to an hour for the AI to do all those 36 currency pairs and test and test and test and come up with high probability trading strategies. So in the Fulgent uh, tab, menu tab, yeah, the AI is now retrained 
and uh, we're going to rename that if we right click on it I'm just take it right click on it we're gonna write it uh, for X uh, FX AI trader so there we go so now we have a retrained foreign uh, foreign, <laughs> foreign currency FX uh, artificial intelligence AI engine so now it's just loading these and it's all loading the train signals now and we will see them in a minute right I'm going to close that Are you Australian dollar let's go and have a look at that one you can see the fantastic signal swing trade uh, back here in March the AI put the stop loss in and it all this trade's been going for a very long time it's still in a long uh, looking at the AI there let's take at the uh, CAD use the ED CAD Now this one uh, is not loading. Give it some time to load the data. Not sure why that one's not loading. For some reason, the the CAD dollar one didn't want to load. But I've got the Euro uh, USD on here. We can see we've had a nice swing trade here back in April. The stop losses, the volatility adjusted. You can see there that you stayed in this trade for a very long time, and then it hit stop loss here at one one nineteen. Let's just go and look at the four hour chart, see uh, what the situation is there. Now, we did not train the AI on intraday, we just trained it on end of day, basically. And we can see how uh, you might have to retrain the, the AI for the four hour chart uh, signal. Um, so, here we've got the uh, Sterling chart on GDP. Uh, nice swing trade signal here. Yeah, you can see the AI added the stop loss in. There was a trailing stop loss hit, and yeah, back in September another swing trade, and the AI is still long sterling. Now you can have a tighter stop loss uh, with this uh, particular AI if you didn't want to give up some of these profits when it gets too extended. But nevertheless, a fantastic, uh, fantastic looking uh, chart on sterling. Let's go and look at uh, the sterling versus the yen. If we load that one, sterling versus the yen. Whoa, fantastic! We can see uh, the signals the AI now generates. Uh, fantastic swing trade, swing trade, huge move there. Still in a long, and then the stop loss is 148. So sterling yen looking very good from an AI perspective. Yen versus USD. Let's go and see what that one looks like. Well, this is uh, just a flat out. Let me just check these signals. See when they come through swing trade. This one didn't. They, that swing trade worked out well. This one worked out well. It hasn't really generated a another fresh signal. If we go and look at intraday, see I'm starting to take a lot of data. Here. Uh, Forex is a lot of tick data that the AI has now got in the background. Let's see if there's any signals coming through. Quick move to the downside, quick move there. Those aren't particularly useful. Uh, back to the daily. Uh. So you can see there's the uh, the AI generates fantastic signals uh, using the AI, retraining the AI. You can see quite a lot of quick moves there. If we look at the AUD in this corner here stop loss automatically calculated yes the GDP USD nice little move there stop loss all the way calculated Let's see the swing trade fantastic uh, GDP yen huge move captured the entire move there euro yen also swing trade there captured a nice move there euro USD also captured a nice move and now it's just fired a new s signal actually swing trade signal so it got this hit this trailing stop loss and now there's a new signal 
that'll be interesting to see how that pans out and uh, yeah so there we go that's how you kind of retrain the AI to get better a set of better results uh, using the AI and if we're just going to re uh, recap that quickly what you need to do is let me just drag this there we go what you need to do is just make sure you select the AI the, re the retraining engine your forex and then in the tab of the uh, Fulgent AI you must make sure you select the stocks one and then after the, re the retraining it'll come up and say stocks retrained then you just rename that and every time you now trade with your uh, AI uh, you, you load the Fulgent AI click the stocks one click the uh, whoops why is this one doing click the uh, your your retrained one and then run your screens so if anybody of you that don't have access to your own AI you can get one uh, from Metastock let me just bring you the link through you go to metastock.com Alpha Harvest 3 for 1 we can get 3 months for the price of 1 a uh, great deal on, on, on uh, the uh, platform so if you get in here the landing page uh, this is the landing page for 3 to 1 deal uh, you go through that you can sign up select whether you want to go for uh, real time or end of day uh, maybe start with end of day and then upgrade to real time at a later point and then the other one is um, Fulgent uh, to get the Fulgent go to menastock.com slash alpha harvest f and when you get to that page uh, there we go dismiss that be sure to mention the alpha harvest f promo code in the sign up otherwise you won't get the discount but yeah it's a good discounted deal uh, limited time deal on the uh, Fulgent AI so uh, you can order from this page be sure to mention the the discount code alpha harvest f in the in that discount code section so that's basically the process for training your own AI to become good at uh, trading uh, currency pairs. Uh, the similar way would be to train the similar process you follow to train the AI for intraday, let's say four hour and hourly type uh, uh, price action. And But we'll cover that on another date. Until next time, happy artificial intelligence trading. Bye for now.